Hi, welcome to another episode of Talking with Docs. I'm Dr. Paul Zalzal. And I'm Dr. Brad Winning. Hey, if you haven't yet, check out other videos. We got tons of videos. We have like every medical topic you can think of. Or if you have an idea for a video, let Put us know. Put in the know. comments. Because today's video is going to be quick and short. We're going to answer a question that a few people have asked. Yes. And no question is a stupid question. No. Okay. The question is, what, what is, is arthritis? arthritis? What is arthritis? What is arthritis? Come on, man. We don't even know. We treat it. I, I feel like I feel like you talked in one of the videos at length about itis. Itis, itis. I have talked about the itis before. Itis right. means inflammation of the thing that you said before itis. The prefix. Yeah. Yeah. Itis is the suffix. I know. If you have a prefix and a suffix, that's a whole word. It's a word. It's like an English lesson today. Don't you need a body of the word? Like it's You're a welcome. sandwich with no meat or vegetable. I. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Prefix right. suffix. Something yeah. itis. Okay. R. It's joint. It means okay. joint. Who knew it, that arth meant joint? I know. It's, it's kind of a bit of a stretch like how they got there. But yeah, yeah, so it's inflammation of the joint. Can be any joint? Any joint. You can get arthritis in any joint in your body. Okay. Is there only one kind of arthritis? No. We use the term arthritis to describe like 200 different things that can cause arthritis. You can have right. septic arthritis, post-traumatic arthritis, rheumatoid arthritis, right. psoriatic arthritis. You can have gouty arthritis. What do we most commonly deal with? We most commonly deal with osteoarthritis. Arthritis. Right. So, in addition to the inflammation of the joint and the irritation of the lining that surrounds the joints and the pain that's associated, it also means that that cartilage has started to wear away. So, the cartilage yeah. that's on the ends of the bones is slowly starting to wear away, and that contributes to that inflammation. And we're, so, we're talking about end stage arthritis. Yes. Okay. You can have mild arthritis, moderate arthritis, moderate to severe arthritis. End stage or severe arthritis, yep. you've had arthritis for a long time and to the point where you've worn away the cartilage and you've got bone rubbing on bone. That's the kind of cartilage that we end up dealing with. Yep. But the term arthritis just means inflammation. So can I have arthritis in my tibia? No. Okay. Well, you can have arthritis of the proximal or the distal portions of your tibia, which make up your ankle and your knee joint, but not of the middle of your tibia. No, absolutely yeah, not. Right. So you're, <clears throat> yeah, like you're not going to have arthritis shin pain or an arthritis thigh pain, nope. it's usually, or it is, in a joint, okay? Your hip, your knee, your ankle. By definition. Your toe, your wrist, your elbow, your shoulder, your finger. They get it. Do you think so? Yeah, there's a lot of joints. I don't, I don't know how many joints there are in the body. I probably should know that, but. A lot. Um, a lot. Someone's going to comment and tell yeah, us. Someone, tells someone, will, someone, someone will comment in us. about 30 seconds and say, yeah, there's this many joints. Um, so that's it. We just went as a quick little video to answer a quick question. What is arthritis? So it's inflammation of the joint. Lots of videos to talk about the treatment. Boy, check out our videos. We talk about arthritis a lot. End stage arthritis. That's what we do. So if you like this video, please like it. Subscribe to our channel. And remember, you are in charge of your own health. We'll see you next time.